one day there was a girl named Aurora and she had long brown hair and she was 18 years old. After school, Aurora and her best friend went to Little Tokyo. She was going to get chicken fried rice and she ate the food and finished it. When she was about to leave, she was stopped by Michael, the guy that had liked her, but she was always ignoring him at school. Wait, you are going to forget your fortune cookies. Thank you. So when they were leaving, Aurora opened the fortune cookie, and the fortune cookie said, You will fall asleep for a hundred years. But Aurora did not believe what the fortune cookie said to her. So she ate the cookie and threw away the fortune and went home. So when she was at school the next day, her class was going on a field trip to the Almar Museum. When Aurora was at the museum, there was a man who was telling her about an old spindle, and there was a sign that was saying, do not touch anything. Even the man said not to touch anything that was in the museum. Aurora did not listen to the man or the sign and went up to the spindle. She started touching I said not to touch anything. Stop. Then Aurora pricked her fingers. She fell asleep and all the students and the teachers tried to wake her up, but she never woke up. But she just was still breathing. Then they called her parents about what happened to Aurora while they were on the field trip. While she was asleep, she was taken to her house and was asleep for a hundred years. But then, one day, a guy named Jake broke into the house that Aurora was sleeping in because it was so old that Jake thought that no one lived there. So, when he broke in the house, he saw her and tried to wake her up, but she didn't wake up. So, Jake hit the door and broke her from a deep sleep for a hundred years, so Aurora thinks Jake and they got married and